by Deborah Norville. Michael Jackson's private life has been the object of speculation for years, and the speculation's back in high gear again with the dissolution of his marriage to Lisa Marie Presley. And leading the chat pack, Michael's sister LaToya, who had plenty to tell our Scott Rappaport about what she says has gone on. If you're supposedly married to a person, and this person is spending a lot of time with little boys, you really don't exist as a person. Surprise, surprise. With Michael's divorce from Lisa Marie, he's got big problems in his private life. And big sister LaToya is not exactly giving him support. Once again, with LaToya, blood is not always thicker than water. Do you remember what you thought when Michael announced he was getting married to Lisa Marie? I said, oh my God, is this real or... This is to cover up this other situation that's happening. Uh, why think that right away? Maybe your brother's getting married and... Because I know him. I know that he doesn't have an interest in women. I know, not that kind of way. Any woman? No, absolutely not. He would never touch a woman. He would say it. Oh, can't stand them. He would just say it. I can't stand them. You are not alone. LaToya admits that she has never even talked to Michael about his marriage. In fact, a source close to the Jacksons told us LaToya has not spoken to Michael in five years. But LaToya says she knows what was going on behind the gates of Neverland, whose source is close to her brother. This was an arrangement, and it was supposed to end or part in March. However, it, it parted sooner. Lisa decided that I want to end this a lot sooner. I can't wait until March. Nobody thought this would last. Why do you think Michael and Lisa Marie went on such a public campaign to convince everyone that this marriage was on the up and up, that it was real, legit? To throw the allegations off the little boys. Period. Blank, period. What was your reaction when you watched them on Primetime Live? I heard a lot of lies. I heard a lot of lies. Specifically, what do you think they were lying about? I really can't go into detail right now because I don't really recall the interview. But you're going on our television show now, which is seen by millions of people, and... I don't recall now what it was that he had said, but I do recall the things that he was saying at that time when it wasn't true. So you're saying your brother lied, but you can't remember one thing that he lied about. Are you trying to say that I'm not telling you the truth? Is I'm that what you're saying? I'm trying to get you to tell me what you think they were lying about. I can't remember at the time. The last time we heard LaToya bad-mouthing Michael was when the child abuse accusations hit. Don't treat me like a criminal. I am innocent. What 35-year-old man is going to take a little boy and stay with him for 30 days? Is your brother a pedophile? In my eyes, definitely yes. You go on national television and say this about him. How do you know this? I do. And he knows that I do. During our interview, LaToya said she has never actually witnessed Michael interacting with young boys in a sexual manner. But she says she did see behavior that she calls inappropriate. When asked for details, LaToya said she couldn't give any because she is scared. And I've been threatened by Pardon? them. That's you... why I will be killed and I've been threatened sure. by it by Michael's people. Know. And that's why I can't go into detail. But at the same time, I'm trying to save these little kids out there. You're because saying you can't... these kids are being scarred for the rest of their lives and you guys don't even realize it. You... A lot of people don't even care. They can give a damn, but I give a damn because I was an abused victim and I know what it's like. You know there are going to be people watching this who hear you say this, mm -hmm. but then... And they're not going to like it, but then that's their problem. Not that's only are they not going to like it, but they're going to say, oh, you're not giving specifics. The woman doesn't know what she's talking about and she's not credible. They'll say that. I really don't care whether they believe it or not. I know what I hear. I know what goes on between the family. I know what's happening. LaToya says she has more going on in her life than just spouting off about her family. She says she has a career over in Europe where she recently appeared in this Italian fashion show as a Barbie doll mermaid. But her critics say it's LaToya's family bashing that keeps her in the spotlight. I think they're totally wrong. No one wants to sit here and talk about a situation like this unless you feel you're going to help someone. Because it's, it's not very, it's painful. Do you ever think there'll come a day where you can patch things up with your brother, Michael? First of all, he has to patch things up with himself. Because if he's not truthful with himself, then he can't be truthful with anyone else. And he's not being truthful with himself. And he needs to be. So, what's Michael's response to LaToya's comments? We called his publicist, Lee Salters, for comment on LaToya's remarks, but he said, we're not interested in what LaToya has to say. Luckily for Michael, not everyone in the Jackson family is so critical of him. His sister Janet was on Black Entertainment Television last night, and in no uncertain terms, she came to her brother's defense. 
if you're given the chance to sit down one-on-one -on -one and talk with him, he's just such an amazing individual, such a and loving, very kind-hearted person. And Michael himself, how's he taking all of this? Well, next week you'll get a sense of how the King of Pop is doing. We're behind the scenes for the making of his latest video. And our exclusive report shows a side of Michael that few folks have ever seen. Can have a lyric sheet, have a lyric sheet please? When Michael Jackson... Spike Lee to shoot his new music video in New York last week. He invited only Inside Edition onto the set. All right, pitch, here we go. Starting Monday, this world exclusive, the making of They Don't Care About Us. We'll show you an intimate look at Michael that you haven't seen before. And we'll have more of that, plus how Spike Lee and Michael Jackson came together in the first place. That's next week.